Oh, we are doing something fun today. Snuck back into a little lake. One extra bonus about this lake is that it's gin clear. So today we're throwing some Twitch Reapers. Nice bright little thing like that, smallmouth can't resist. We're hoping to catch a lot of fish today. We'll see how they hold up to these smallmouth. This one's decent, maybe. Yeah, that's a good one. Better anyway. Come here, buddy. You're gonna jump? Pinch behind the head. Can't lip him because we got that treble hook there. There we go. There's a little stockier one. Jeez. That is a blast. Go on, girl. Ooh. Way out at the end of a cast. Oh. Such a fun rod. Oh, get out of my prop. Back hook. Come on, baby. Whoa. Yep. It's one thing you gotta be mindful of when you're in spot lock. That prop is always spinning a little bit. And it can grab your line. There we go. Nostril hook, just like that. Brown bass, man, what a blast. Sight fishing. Woohoo! Little kiss goodbye. Twitch Reaper. It's got a little keel on it. It's just kind of a little twitch bait, glide bait, you know? Two super sharp hooks. They are whacking it, so fun. You just long cast, you can see that pink thing forever. I've been getting hit a lot on the paws. Look at that, on the paws, just hanging out there. Jose and I were just talking about how fun it is to just, this is, I just bombed a cast. You can cast this thing so far. It's pink, so I can see it a mile away but I'll just flap, flap, let it glide a little bit and just hang. It suspends, like I was saying, and all of a sudden your rod just blows up. That is a fun bite. Literally, like we're both just spot locked, just fan casting the shallow bay, and you can just see smallmouth cruising around in here. Oh, grabbing the line, old school. Look at the pot belly on that girl. We've kind of got fish in transition right now. There's obviously fish on beds. We're kind of letting them do their thing. And then you got fish like this that are just plump, probably still egged up. Makes for a nice wide, broad fight. Got a really smooth drag with this Daiwa Tatula. So those fish, like smallmouth, love to make big, long runs and powerful runs. So it's nice to have a little, you know, backup with that drag nice and smooth like that. So I'm literally going to. Just let this thing hang out there. It's pink, they can see it from a mile away. And I'm either watching for my line to jump or the end of my rod to just go boosh. Oh, there's one. There we go. Again, on a long cast, just hanging. Like I said, what bait can you just cast out, give it a couple pops and let it sit? Ooh, that's a good one. That's the best one of the day. Come on, baby. Woo. Oh, she's pretty. Yep. You gotta pinch them down firm. 
When you're going for that lip grab, they can throw a hook in you faster than you believe. Here's a good one. So that's the second time. Oh, way out there on the pause. That's literally the best. Literally the best thing. Oh, she's just, oh, there's a, oh, there's two. Dude. Yeah, there's some nice ones behind her. Oh, big, clean, smally. Spot lock. Woo. Give me your little mouth. There we go. I'm kind of amazed right now. I'm literally bombing this bait out as far as I can. I'll twitch it like two or three times and it just sits there and all of a sudden, poof, like I've said a few times before, but that is a fun bite. Oh, thick one. We are gonna spot lock because we're on the calm side of the lake and I, the, the bottom is like riddling. There's freaking black shadows everywhere. So I'm just gonna sit back and make a cast to the biggest shadows I can see, I guess. Gosh. Make, 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 make. And in true smallmouth fashion, there's about 10 of his greedy friends behind it. There we go. Always trouble with the back hook. So my setup for the Twitch Reaper, I'm using a 610 medium light. And I'm using a little bit shorter rod, a 610, because I have my tip down a lot of times. In the kayak, you don't have a lot of clearance anyway. So I've also been kind of putting my tip up with them in shallower water, especially if I want to impart a little bit longer pause. And the fish are looking up at it. If you set the hook, it's almost better to have an upward hook set. I have a 2500 size to tool here, really smooth drag. Seaguar Smackdown gray, and then I got Seaguar Tatsu for a fluorocarbon leader. So long, long, long cast. That Smackdown just lets it soar out there. And then we're fishing extremely clear water. So visibility is definitely a factor for the fish. And you gotta have fluorocarbon. You have to have a good fluorocarbon. Like Tatsu, that truly is invisible. <laughs> 